The escalating trade dispute between Kenya and Uganda over milk exports is just one of the many facing all EAC partner states. The maize ban, and we are concerned in, the, in terms of uh, the way it has, they have been implemented uh, without uh, sufficient consultation, uh, without, uh, especially for the farmers, and like has been said, it has affected uh, you know, quite a number of value chain actors. This is in the wake of this month's ban on maize imports from Uganda and Tanzania, which Kenya's Agriculture and Food Authority AFA says was unfit for human consumption due to high levels of aflatoxin. According to East Africa Farmers Federation Group CEO Stephen Mushiri, Uganda's Pal Dairy had to lay off at least 1,500 employees when Kenya slapped Uganda with a milk ban. Pal Dairy? that sells a lot of milk into this country, uh, just uh, released 1,500 employees, impacting over 8,000 people in Uganda, and they are all selling to this particular market. And, uh, you know, this for us is a, is a big concern uh, because it goes against um, the treaty, the East Africa Community Treaty. President of the Pan-Africa Farmers Organization, PAFO Elizabeth and Zimadala, says there is need for the government to review regulations governing the ESC community. When we should be having a free market where, you know, we are all competitive. You know, if we don't do that, we are not going to actually compete with our neighbors. Consolata Kayo, Commissioner at the Uganda's Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, on the other hand, says Uganda is the only key regional market that has no history of banning imports from its neighbors. Before you sell off your produce, check how clean is it. Before you buy, check how clean is it. Is it worth it? Such issues of the ban will not have risen. We are mobilizing our small-scale farmers to be business-like. It is, it is a, a unique opportunity to, to other players, especially the, the banks. Uganda exports at least 90% of its maize to Kenya with a cumulative average of over 300,000 tons. Besides aflatoxin, the gap between demand and production has placed maize at the center of the food security debate. Linda Koskei, K24 TV.